Okay, you're welcome to your number one and authentic program on radio. It's Green Nigeria Radio Show. And today we'll just go straight to what we will be doing today. We'll be telling you how fish and tomatoes can thrive together. Have you ever thought of that? Okay, last week we told you about fishes and snakes in the same pond uh, in Kaduna State. The people of Koro have this pond where fishes and snakes uh, cohabit and it's an uh, attempt to be sacred and um, answers prayers and all that. And um, uh, Did you check it out? Okay. And don't forget where you always get the stories from. It's on Green Nigeria Radio Show. And uh, Today we'll be telling you about fishes and tomatoes and uh, it's about farming actually. You know, farming uh, you know and um, today we'll also tell you again that um, did you know uh, what happens to plantain stems banana stems and all that the final product of all these plants find out in this video after the break stay tuned it's green nigeria radio show Just one banana plant stem can yield up to 3,000 pads, according to Sati. The first step is to cut the stalks in half. Workers pull the halves apart, layer by layer. They feed these celery-like chunks into machines that leave just the stringy fibers behind. Workers wash the fibers, then they're ready for a second life. At the Sati factory, workers feed fibers into machines that cut them into shorter pieces. The next step is turning those pieces into this fluff. The founders told us this part is a trade secret. This is the absorbent core of the pad. Workers layer the banana fiber core between other sheets. After the pads are cut to size, he tests them out from each batch using water mixed with ink. The pads are ready to be sanitized using light. Finally, workers package the pads. All right, on today, um, tourism aspect will be telling you about Biram people, the people of uh, Biram and the Kun Cave in Plato State. It is believed that um, the Kun Cave uh, served as an ancient uh, fortress for the Biram Kingdom. Uh, in those days, it, it is believed that when um, the, 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 they had wars or uh, uh, you know fights here and there, they would run to the Kun Cave and make some uh, citations, incantations, and the Kun Cave opens up and swallows them up safely. It, it was like a refuge. And the Kun Cave is still there. Go check it out in Plato State. And don't forget where you heard it from. You heard it on Green Nigeria Radio Show. Okay, that's all we have for today on both agri and tourism. Hope you enjoyed the video talking about the finished product of um, plantains and um, bananas there. Hope you really learned something. Did you know that banana, the stem and all that can be, um, you know, you can get pads and, you know, sanitary pads and um, uh, diapers from um, banana stems? It's Green Nigeria Radio Show, and my name is Meshak Yagi. Don't forget, we say it's tourism, agriculture, progress. We believe that with tourism and agriculture, Nigeria will fly. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You're welcome to Green Nigeria. <laughs> You're welcome to Green Nigeria. <laughs>